Hello, and welcome to another edition of Business Automation with Ben. Today's topic is Facebook, more specifically Facebook lead ads. If you or someone you know is sourcing leads, you're gonna wanna check out these next applets. Okay, so we're gonna get started here at if.com slash create. We're gonna start with our if this statement. Again, this is our trigger statement. So we're gonna click add, and we're gonna search for Facebook. And of course, we're going to make sure we click on Facebook lead ads. We're going to select new lead. Okay, so I've selected which Facebook account, page, and particular ad with which I want to pull leads from. One quick side note is if you're, say, a Facebook a social media freelancer or subcontractor and you manage multiple Facebook accounts, you can, as a Pro Plus feature, add multiple Facebook accounts to your one if account. So we're going to click Create Trigger. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna happen when I get a new lead from a Facebook ad is I wanna add that lead to my pipe drive CRM. So I'm gonna click on my then that statement. Again, this is my action statement. I'm gonna search for pipe drive and we're gonna click create new deal. I'm gonna add this to pipeline as a qualified lead for now. And some of the ingredients that we're gonna add here, we're gonna choose email, phone number, full name, company name, and say job title. Okay, so let's say maybe I don't have a pipe drive CRM or I do have a pipe drive CRM and I just wanna make sure that I'm backing up this raw data from these Facebook lead ads that I'm spending money on in a Google Sheet. So I'm gonna add another action by clicking this plus button at the bottom. We're gonna search for Google Sheets. I'm gonna add a row to set spreadsheet. It already has all of the data ready to be formatted in the given columns for me. So all I have to do now is click create. Okay, so now that my sales team has received the lead in Pipe Drive and I've given myself a backup of the data by sending it to Google Sheets, I now wanna make sure that marketing gets a hold of this data so that we can continue to nurture this lead and moving forward. So I'm gonna click Add Again and I'm going to search for MailChimp. I'm gonna click Add New Subscriber and for email address, I'm going to click Email. For first name, we're going to click first name, last name, guest it last name and create action. Finally, one thing that I really like to do when I get a new lead is make sure that I set aside some time to properly engage with that lead, discuss it with the coworker, just basically give it the attention that it needs. So I'm gonna click the plus button one more time and we're going to search for Google Calendar. I'm clicking create detailed event. So it pulls up my calendar for start time. This thing is pretty intuitive. So I'm just going to say tomorrow at 8 a.m. And for the end time, we'll say each lead, I'll give maybe 15 minutes. So I'm gonna do 8, 15, then all day I'm gonna select no and create action. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you got something to say, let us know in the comments. Also, you can click the link above to check out my last video on Slack. And I'll see you next week for another edition of Business Automations with Ben.